Today we're going to talk about bullying. Bullying seems to be the big issue parents worry about the most, and for good reason, especially in the springtime, bullying can reach this peak where its effect on kids who are really emotional and ready for school to be over, uh, the effect can be really magnified. So I want to give you some specific strategies you can teach your kids because the biggest question I deal with when I hear about bullying is, is it really bullying? So let's go to the chalkboard. So you have to be careful whenever you're teaching kids about bullying uh, that you're not overusing the term and therefore diluting its effect. I hear about bullying all the time and nine times out of ten or even more, it's not bullying. So let me show you how to tell the difference and show you what kids can do to solve their own problems when they can. We teach kids a three-step process called stop, walk, talk. These are the steps you take when someone is bothering you. The first thing is tell them to stop. If telling them to stop worked, then the student wasn't being a bully, they were just being rude. Never try to say stop more than three times. If you told them to stop three times and they're still doing it, it's more than just rude. But it doesn't mean you can't solve your own problem. Your next step is to walk away. If walking away works, that means they weren't just being rude, they were being mean. Mean is just being rude on purpose. At this point, whether they're being rude or mean, only try to walk away twice. What you're looking to see is, are they going after you in particular, or are they just being mean to anyone who's nearby? It's not personal, they're just being a mean person. It's really their problem, not yours. Go somewhere else. If you told them to stop three times and it didn't work, then they're not just being rude. If you've walked away two times and they're still after you, then it's more than being mean. Now it's time to get help because now you know that you're dealing with someone who's going after you to be mean. And it's important that kids know that they need to talk to as many adults as they can to get the help they need. It's not just one, it's not just two because sometimes adults are too busy or they don't understand how important it is what you're dealing with. So keep finding an adult to help. Now, I want to talk about a couple things. One thing I occasionally hear from parents is they say, and this is usually the dad talking, but not always, what they say is, I told my kid that if someone's hitting you, you hit him back. I understand what that means. I mean, targeted aggression is really about finding the person who's weak and exploiting that weakness for their own power and so hitting back can be effective here's the problem one it creates a school where people hit each other and that's contagious hitting to solve problems is not really a good solution school-wide which is kind of how we have to think and then two kids aren't very good at deciding who to hit uh, they end up hitting their friend, who isn't being a bully, they're maybe just being bossy, which is a, kind of rude. Uh, or the, their friend hit them out of play, or maybe even out of frustration, but not in an, exp ex but not in an attempt to bully them. And so, uh, the hitting just makes it worse and it ruins friends. Uh, kids don't have good judgment. so. Please don't tell your kids to hit unless it's in the most dire circumstances. Even then, uh, not a good plan. Uh, so there is a place to, for teaching your child to be strong. Because bullies are focused on weak weakness. It can be physical weakness. It can be emotional weakness. Uh, but all of the things that you do as a parent to give strength to your child is also going to help them uh, to resist the bully. Last thing I want to say on this subject is that uh, rude and mean behavior are easy to deal with. Little tyrants are harder to deal with, but they are rare. So if you remember that, the more you remember that, uh, the more you'll be able to help your kid deal with rude and mean behavior, which is far more common anyway. Good luck with all this, and as always, whenever you encounter bullying from your kid, 
talk to the school. We really do want to deal with it and help you and your child have a great experience here. Take care.